welcome to this Stateless Code video. I'm Mike Dushman, and my channel here, Stateless Code, I've got about 240 or so videos, most of them about coding, but I figured I would start a new series here where I'm going to call it How the Sausage is Made, where I go through and either add, explore, and use some new features that I haven't used before, or I kind of show my process for how I produce videos. Uh, I've, I think, gotten a bit better at it over time, and if uh, in, a, in the event that I try something new, I'm decently good at muddling through and trying to figure things out. I've got a playlist called Why Stateless Code that I'll put in the, uh, the end screen for this video, and in it I talk about why I leave the mistakes in the videos, and I think that's both for coding and for doing other things, kind of, if I don't do this right, it will allow you to kind of see what happens here and try to uh, walk through one possible way of solving the problem. So as I noted here, I've got 240-ish videos published so far, and I have never once used a YouTube end screen. So I had that as a a action and improvement item on my most recent retrospective for our series Nerd Dice, which is a Ruby programming um, series. And I figured I'd give this a shot. So uh, end screens can be added to the end of your videos and can you can add things like a subscribe button, a link to a playlist, a link to a specific video, a link to recommended video based on your user, stuff like that. So I'm gonna start here just, I'm gonna go to my analytics on my channel and I'm going to choose the video that has the most, the most views um, within the past 28 days, which is my RuboCop install and initial setup video. This is like the, probably the eighth or ninth video I ever recorded and continues to have a fairly high view rate and it's my most watched video recently and all time on my channel. So this would be a good place to start in terms of trying to add an end screen. It has the highest potential of being viewed. So I'm going to go to details here and on the side there is an end screen section. I'll click on that and it will bring me to the editor here and it shows kind of the the end of the video. I might need, let me pause briefly and turn on system sounds just to see whether that um, I don't think I, I generally don't have system sounds on my OBS recording because like, like I'll, I'll do something and it'll cause a system ding or something like that and usually uh, more hassle than it's work, worth. But I think in this case, having the audio will provide some benefit here. So, uh, and I'll make another video in the future in this sausage, how the sausage is made about how I use OBS for my stuff as well, but uh, for now I'll just turn on my audio. All right, so I've got my audio for this turned on. So in this case, this video has uh, outtakes at the end. Usually I've got the, like a stateless code closing screen that I can work with here, but um, we can see here it's Rubo Rubocop from, uh, Rubo Road Pirate. I mean Rubocop. It's a main gem page and then Rubo. I cannot say this word. Rubocop. So, uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if I can I'm gonna hit the plus here with one video, one playlist, and one subscribe. And so the, you can drag these items around the, I think I'm going to make the, in this case, the, doesn't look like I can make it any smaller. 
and then so video best for viewer you can choose most recent upload best for viewer or specific video so I'm gonna try out best for viewer here and then playlist let me see if I can so in this case I will want to for a RuboCop video I think I'll make a reference to the getting started with rail 7 series there uh, let's see if I can make the maybe I can't make it smaller but perhaps I can make the yeah that looks about there and I think I can if I wanted to modify any one of these you can kind of change where in the timeline they show up so let's say that I want the subscribe to show up halfway through here we can see what that looks Rubo like Rubocop from uh, Rubo Road Pirate I mean Rubocop the main gem page so uh, that's the idea there I'm gonna move this back so that it it takes up the maximum of the end here and then I'm going to save this and now I've got an end screen so I'm gonna see if I can do the view on YouTube version of this test it out so we'll kind of go to the end here and see comment subscribe and spread the word old you can old follow us on social here. media at stateless code until next time keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf. In this codecast, we're going to configure Rubo, RuboCop from, uh, let's see, it shows up now. Rubo Road Pirate. I mean, RuboCop. And it's the main gem page. It and picked a mediocre karaoke one, which Rubo, was, I guess it defaults. I cannot to say this word. RuboCop. Uh, but then, and then it looks like it's auto recommending that RVM uh, and Ruby video, which you would expect it to. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe it just thinks that I really like to listen to myself sing, and that's why it's recommending that for me. Maybe it will recommend something different for you. Uh, you can go to that video and try to see what it does um, at the end for you uh, certainly add the subscribe there uh, so now once I've got that there I can go back to my channel analytics and do the next one down and in this case when I go to details and take a look at the end screen I now have the option to import this from a video so I can go and search Rub Rubocop still can't say it and I could import it from that video I don't think that's what I want to do in this particular case but that's kind of gives you something that you can start off with So in this case, I think we can start there and then let's say I want to do video best for viewer and in this one, instead of getting started with rail seven, I want to go in and do the nerddice.com series because that's the series that it came from. And also let's say in one of the cases I want a particular video here so instead of best reviewer I could choose a specific video 
there and and do that. So you get the idea. These um, I'm gonna see kind of where things match up here. So it doesn't. In most cases, I'll have an end screen here. It just so happens that the two videos that I chose had uh, kind of blooper reel things after my normal end screen. But if I go and try to play Voting. this now. And don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf. So it's not uncommon to see deprecation warnings when you I'm out of sync here. But you get the idea. So I can go in now and kind of maybe sort by most recent views and start uh, applying this. And I mean, for me, it's going to take a while to iterate through the 240 videos or whatever. And maybe I'll decide after a while, yeah, this isn't worth it. But uh, I can prioritize how I feel like I want to and add those end screens in. I can experiment with different things, see which end screens perform better. Uh, in some of our, my most more recent videos, I have in particular the show notes where I refer to a specific video that I, uh, other video that I dealt with. So let's take a look at this one here and see if I, if I did that here, see other related stateless code videos. So let's say I want to, on this case, um, modify my end screen to provide that specific video instead of the best one for the viewer. So I'll choose a specific video. I'll choose a specific video here. Uh, I'll have to get rid of the, the link, but there we go. So that's the one that's referred to in the video description. And I'll, I'll try that and see how it goes. Uh, you could also, it may even be better to go the other direction. So instead of you upgrading to 3.2 in your 3.1 video reference 3.2, and then in your 3.1, 3.2 video reference something else. So, but that's the idea. You can go in kind of import from one experiment, see how they do and adjust accordingly. And we'll see you in the next video. I'll see how this does. And if it performs well, I'll probably create more of these about my process that I use to produce and do all these videos and stuff. Check out the end screen because I'm gonna put one on this video and it will refer to the playlist Y stateless code that I referred to earlier in the video. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Welcome to this Stateless Code video. Uh, I'm Mike Dushman. The, uh, let's see if I can say this without saying ah. Uh. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.